His day job involves getting stung by hundreds of different venomous insects and plants. You may think he's crazy, but what Sam Robinson's doing is actually very important. Oh. <laughs> there are some things that really, really hurt. And seriously, like jamming your hand in the door. Oh. In terms of different things I've been stung by, I think it's up to just over 200 now. From honeybees, caterpillars and green ants to centipedes, scorpions, giant wasps and plants. Almost anything you can think of, other than snakes. Scientist Sam Robinson purposely putting his body through pain oh. to identify new targets for the next generation of painkiller drugs. By studying these pain-causing toxins, these are going to be really useful tools for understanding how our nerves work. And we've already, we've got toxins from the Australian stinging tree, Gimpy Gimpy. We've got them from the giant red bull ant. And these are already telling us new things about pain and ultimately they should lead to new treatments. Like all spiders, this one is venomous. And the question I'm asking here is, will it bite defensively? Will that bite cause pain? They're the questions Sam seeks answers to every time he invites another creepy crawly to sting him. While the pain caused by this green jumping spider was minimal, that's not always the case. What we have here is an Australian spider wasp. You can see they're quite big and actually you can see this thing is quite big. Similar to the American tarantula hawk, its sting is used to paralyse spiders and is notoriously painful. Oh! <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's not faking it. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, it's like sweating. Sam rates the pain on a scale of one to four, a model formulated by American entomologist Justin Schmidt, where an average honeybee sting sits in the middle. If it's less painful than that, it's, you know, a one or a 0.5 or something. If it's, if it's more painful, it's a three, or if it's really, really painful, you know, it's a four. The spider hunting wasp awarded top honours. Oh. Sam describing the pain as gripping, shockingly powerful and electric. Oh. So how would you rate this one on your, on your scale of I, I think this was a 0.5 or a 1 or something like that. Another sting that intrigued the 35-year-old is the gimpy gimpy tree found in eastern Australia. I just touched the needle and straight away it's like a shooting pain. And I remember thinking at the time, sort of, like, how does a plant do that? By identifying the toxins in the sting from plants and insects, Sam can figure out how that type of pain works and the secrets of our nervous system to unlock nature's medicine cabinet and ultimately produce drugs to alleviate different kinds of pain from arthritis to chemotherapy side effects. Do you build yourself up, psych yourself yeah, up to do it? Yeah, that's kind of the hardest thing actually, is the sort of anticipation of it. Sam always does a lot of background research first and knows he's not allergic, but he has this message for anyone thinking of trying this at home. Don't do it. You don't need to. Don't do it. Mm -hmm.